That's a lot of speed out there. Yet, there is some big news that Red Wing fans are probably going to be really psyched about. Uh, we Uh, you know, they're on the cusp of, uh, you know, being in the NHL, uh, many of them. And uh, so I expect a really uh, a fun game. But, you know, with Andrew Kopp, I'll tell you the signing that I really, really, I like all. About from yesterday. Well, I think the defenseman is yeah. really key. And uh, Ole Mata has been around for a long, long time. And I think he's going to help the blue line core. And Ben Sherratt, to me, I wanted to see the Red Wings trade for him at the trade deadline. Yeah. The center ice. Now it's chipped over the line, and uh, they come back the other way. Mellenbacher, two on one with Bliss. Left circle, feet in front. Bliss with a chance, and he scores. He put it up into the corner, beating Kosa, and it's 1-0. Hey, nice, nice looking setup there from Owen Mellenbacher, who was another seventh round pick in this 2022 draft. And Trenton Bliss, a signee of Grand Rapids as of March. So exciting to see them connecting there. This is what we're going to be looking for throughout this 3v3 tournament. Some pretty goals, some nice plays like that. Right, we thought this wouldn't be competitive, but there was a lot of bliss on the uh, in the NHL network get, getting caught up on all the latest news. <laughs> it's Mike Knubel's son. Lifting it to Sabrango. Good feet. He's breaking in, and he got a stick chop. Right off his uh, stride there by Mitchell Martin, and a penalty for slashing has been called, so we'll see a power play here. All right, here we go. Now, well, this will be four on three, I would imagine, right? Yes, four on three, I would yep. imagine. Unless they, they want to go three on two, but I, I, I would imagine. I'll tell you what. Well, they, unless they're, no, they're going to give him a penalty shot. That's oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, there, there we go. I was going to say, because the goaltenders union would sue for uh, three on two, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All right, here's Sabrango. He's got the penalty shot, trying to tie it up for Team Simon. Up across the line, he makes his way in, he fakes, he shoots, and Guylander makes an unbelievable pad save right there. Just a note on Trenton Bliss, he played at Michigan Tech, had 40 points in 36 games, so the offensive capabilities are definitely there, and uh, Grand Rapids signed him in March. There's a feed pass, Phillips with a deke going. Oh. Kosa make the diving save, face first along the ice. Now we're getting some up and down action right here. If I know, if I know Sebastian, he's probably going to be chirping his team a little bit. <laughs> Savage moves in, shoots the puck, he scores! He picked the left corner of the goal. And this game is now tied, 1-1. Red Savage with a beautiful wrist shot, beating Guylander. Well, I'm sure that brings uh, smiles to the Red Wings' uh, faces. I mean, a Red Savage, a, a player that certainly that the Red Wings uh, have high hopes for. Uh, fourth round pick, uh, 114th overall in the 2021 draft, played at Miami. Uh, 16 points in the last second on a power move in front of Kosa. He, Even though he lost the puck, that's what they like about him. He's a little nif he's nifty. He has some good moves. Yeah, he definitely beat his defenseman with that fake shot, but uh, could not handle the puck to get it past Sebastian Kosa. And Daniela, you like to see those forwards going hard to the net, right? Here's a shot by Phillips. He scores beating Kosa. Well, you know, uh, Coach Westland, the new goaltending coach, I think he's going to talk to Sebastian about the glove side a little bit. What do you think? High and uh, on the glove side. I mean, I think that's the third shot that's beaten him there out of this 4-1 to score. And, uh, you know, certainly they've seen something. Well, we mentioned... He played very well in Edmonton, especially during their playoff run for the Oil Kings. So I think it's there. And there's a goal. There's yeah, another goal. I, I, I think glove side high is, is, yeah, is what, what everyone's doing. I mean, they, 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 there they go. Well, Team Simon gets their second. And that was a nice shot right there. They're just kind of letting it rip at this point, Ken. Yeah. It, uh, getting in the zone and letting the shots go. At the end of the game. Well, it's a sign that's of leadership, too, exactly. right? Yeah, yeah, it's a sign of leadership, and that's something that's huge. Dower Nilsson makes his way, and he shoots, he scores! And he beat the goaltender, Guylander, low to the ice, and Team Simon coming back into the game here. It's now 4-3. to three. Liam Dower Nilsson played in the Frulunda Juniors in Sweden. He had 50 points in 34 games, so he definitely has some offensive firepower to his game. He's going to play in Sweden again next season. Yeah, for those of you just joining us, maybe getting up a little blurry still, haven't had your morning brew. Throws it back in the line of Sobrango. That was fairly impressive by Mr. Ali. Oh, and a nice move by Sobrango with a shot. And Guylander with a big glove save. He knocked it away with authority. Now Sobrango moves in again with a shot. He fired it wide of the goal. He looks up to the heavens and says, hockey gods, come on now. Along the boards. And they come back the other way. Team Simon up the right wing. Knubel over the blue line. Makes his way in. Pass in front. Here's a shot and he score. Bavaro. Got the feed from Knubel, and this game is tied 4-4. Well, just probably the way they, it should be, right, Ken? Yep. 
We've seen uh, one team jump out to a big lead, another team fight their way back, and now uh, with a running clock. Well, but James with a power move to the front, knocked away by Guylander. Now a long lead pass. Here's Martin breaking in. He could decide it right here. He shoots on the back and scores. And with 20 seconds to go in the game, Martin gives Team Draper the 5-4 lead. Free agent invitee uh, Mitchell Martin from Sudbury, Ontario, plays for the Kitchener Rangers. 65 games, 40 points, including 17 goals and a little grit to his game too. 63 penalty minutes. One last chance. Oh, the high hopes for him, and uh, I think he's going to get every opportunity in training camp to try and make this Red Wing club. And he'll be on Team Cleary alongside Will Wallander, too, who's an exciting defensive prospect. Yeah, he'll be in Detroit, too. Will William Wallander will play for the Red Wings, and if you look at this lineup, it is pretty loaded. Not surprising Dan Cleary is running this camp. So, uh, <laughs> he gave him um, Cross Hannes, too. Cross Hannes, excuse me, who has played really well in Portland. He should be in Grand Rapids next year, so keep your eyes on him today, too. Well, Yes. I mean, look at Marco Casper, Amadeus Lombardi. I mean, this should probably be called Team Mozart. Oh, boy. <laughs> ben had to do an interview, and it was me and Paul Woods up there. Brendan Shanahan dumped a puck in, and it went in. Oh, here's a oh, nice backhand oh, try, and they score right out in front of the goal. That was a beautiful play. And Team Cleary is on the board. That's Team Watson, Ken. Or Amadeus Watson. Lombardi. And it's Amadeus. <laughs> He rocked one in. There you go, Art. You've been waiting forever. Well, not forever. Lombardi with the goal, and it comes out to center now. A pass to Lombardi again, looking for a second. Nice stick handing display, and the oh, save was made. That puck come back two on one. Vanderbeek is on the right side. Pass in front, a shot. Oh, good save right there by Oak. Yes, that was he robbed his man on that drive. That was impressive. That was point blank. Good save right there. And now uh, Wallander comes back the other way. Drops it back. Keenan Draper out there with Robert Master Simone. Master Simone up the right wing boards. Master Simone. Stick handling with a puck. Sends it in front of Edvinson with a chance and a save by Connor Murphy. Didn't get a lot on that. Had to come up big on, uh, on several occasions on both sides. And of scored Lombardi's out there in the white jersey with Sammy Stange and Shai Booyam. Oh, here's a little bit of a uh, Michigan type go uh, lacrosse style effort right there. And I thought Lombardi we were again. I thought we were going to see it. I said, we, you know, that. Uh, well, Artie picked it up right there that right. time. And it was almost, uh, he tried to shovel it in along the near goal post. Yeah, I guess he just said to the Denver guys, take that, fellas. He's pretty creative, that Lombardi. He's got the lone goal, and he's had some really good scoring opportunities and not afraid to show off that skill offensively. So it's two. <laughs> Lombardi steals. He's been all over the ice. He's got both goals. Left circle. Moves it into the slot to Marco Casper. He scores. Wow, what a shot by Casper. Beating the goaltender, and he beat him on the stick side just inside the goal post. That's the uh, the Mozart connection right there. I was going. just going to say, Amadeus <laughs> Lombardi involved in that one, too. What a game he is having. Three and points. Great to see Marco Casper get on the board, too. Again, the question was, what is Marco Casper's offensive capability? Exactly. What is his ceiling? And we're getting a look at game, and they're down three zip. Uh, if they're going to press, what's uh, is Dan Cleary going to pull his goalie? Here comes Lombardi again. He's been impressive. Makes his way in. A deke, a shot, and he scores. There's the hat trick. Four-point game, Amadeus, Amadeus, Amadeus. I mean, there you go. Three of them. Lombardi, very, very impressive in this hockey game. Well, I had a chance to look at the management staff after he scored that goal. A lot of them were shaking their heads back and forth like, wow, what are we seeing right here? I think we're seeing the makings of a Red Wing. He's not over overly big. Team Cleary alongside Will Wallander too, who's an exciting defensive prospect. Yeah, he'll be in Detroit too. Will, William Wall. I'm not surprised to see that. Art, you just like him because he's going to Michigan. Is he? I'm I didn't kidding. know that, Daniela. <laughs> Knubel moves in with a backhand, scores on Oak, and it's a quick one nothing lead for Team Simon. And they pick up right where they left off. You know, Cole Canubo did not have bad numbers in, for Fargo in the USHL. 62 games played, 20 goals, 29 assists, 49 points. And a free agent invitee, son of uh, Mike, who is a coach uh, with the Grand Rapids Griffins. Former NHLer, 
Former Red Wing. Former Michigan Wolverine, I understand. <laughs> Give Checked it behind the goal by Sabrango. Now it's scooped ahead. Ansel on a break. Savage off the bench trying to catch him. A shot and he scores. Ansel with the goal. And that ties the game 1-1. Julian Ansel, free agent invitee, Sherbrooke of uh, the Quebec League. 68 points in 67 games, including 26 goals last season. So he knows how to put it in the net. She caught him on a change that time and uh, buried to the goal. Rebound picked off into the corner. Yes. Astra Simone will pick it up now and race over the blue line. Right side in on Knubel, cuts inside, turns, fire, scores! And he beat there Kosa he, on the glove side. You know, if somebody needed that, it was it, it was Master Simone. Well, He's could, had a number of chances. You could see his reaction there. He did a little fist pump, let out a little woo, and he was excited to get one in the back of the net. But, Art, we talked about him earlier, the transferring to Arizona State. Definitely a big year for him. He wants to impress this Red Wings staff today. Right, yeah. He, Ethan Phillips, a couple others, uh, they, uh, you know, this is, this is a big, big upcoming season for them up as we go along. We're going to play with some rules and some we're not. We've only seen one penalty and it was rewarded to a penalty shot. Here's, yeah, I, oh wow. Oh, nice play there. That was a good shot right there by Drew Bavaro. That's his third game of the tournament. Yeah, you talked about him, Ken, and how impressed you were in the first game. He had two goals, adds another one here in the consolation game. Another guy that's just trying to, to impress the staff and trying to earn a contract somewhere. Yes, yeah, certainly. I mean, like a, a piano concerto or something. I'm going to be. Uh... <laughs> Red Savage makes his way in with a shot. He scores. That was a nice shot that beat Charleston. And Team White, that's the Simon team, takes the lead three to two. Red Savage was a 2021 fourth round pick for the Red Wings. Really exciting guy. I mean, he's been good throughout this three on three tournament. And. I just love his name, so I, I'm hoping he gets in a Red Wings uniform so he can put Savage on the back. From the faceoff, they don't drop the puck. Now they do. Savage tied up his man. Puck cleared out to center ice. They roll softly down into the corner. A coin picking it up. Shoots the puck into the empty net with four seconds to go. And that'll do it. So on to the championship game will be Team Simon as they win this one by a 4-2 score. around a little bit right party picking it up now and he tried to sling it out in front oh. and a great defensive play that puck was on the goal line and it was Bailey who made the good play and that was an outstanding opportunity and a good save right there Bradley I'm sorry made that play and yeah, now they score and it's one nothing missed that one who knocked it in Take a look at the replay right here. Bradley made a really good play there, knocking that puck off the goal line. And now a quick backhand by Martin, and he gives them a 1-0 lead. Team Draper with the lead. Do we have official reviews? I, I don't, don't know think about so. That, that, was, that was close. Let's see. Hard to tell from oh, that. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's hard to see where it went. We need the overhead view. Here we go. This will be a good one. I don't know. Uh, you can't tell where the puck eh, he, ended up. Oh. Now back the other end of the There's ice. There's a goal. <laughs> they score, and this game is tied 1 1. So Team Watson ends up tying it up 1 1. How many times have we seen that? Great scoring chance on one end, the other team comes down and converts. I think that was Casper who uh, fired that puck. Yes, in. it was. 92. Marco Casper with his second goal of the tournament. So a tightly contested game. Bradley moves into shot, he scores! A quick snapshot that beat Murphy. Right after Casper scores, Bradley gives Team Draper a two to one lead. Well, there's no mistake on that one. That went right to the back of the net. A great shot from Bradley, a heads up play too. Chase Bradley plays for Connecticut from St. Louis, Missouri. Seventh round, 2020, 203rd overall. 
Nine points in 29 games last year for Connecticut. Well, the Red Wings have uh, wheeled and dealed with St. Louis teams in the past couple of weeks. They certainly have. There's a, a number of blues on this team. Whoa. Landowski moves in with a shot, beating Connor Murphy, and it's now 3-1 to one, Team Draper. Connor Murphy seems to have a hard time with that glove side, too, at least in this game. He's made some good saves, don't get me wrong, but they're beating him on that far side. Well, he had a lot of opportunity. He had a lot of barrages coming his way, and then yeah. uh, you know, at that time, really impressive the puck movement by, uh, by Team Watson there with the goaltender pull, but they just could not get that, uh, that goal to... Uh, and play very, very well and, uh, you know, tighten it up defensively, much like their team. And I, I think if you look on paper, and I don't think this is much of a stretch, you would think that maybe Team Draper had their work cut out for them. But much like their, their namesake, Chris Dramer, uh, they, uh, you know, they played hard. They played tough. I mean, they, they came out and uh, they tightened it up, and it was an impressive effort uh, overall in both games by Team Draper, Draper and they, they deserve to win. It has been exceptional. And uh, I, I think that a lot of the uh, uh, happiness that you saw in Chris Draper's face was based on the tournament come September in Traverse City. So we're looking forward to that and then training camp. Yeah, certainly. I mean, I, I am looking forward to, to everything as far as... Uh, I need time to think about this. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go with Guylander like Chris yeah, Draper.